say it before, say it again, it literally looks like we're in the fields at the moment. Welcome back to Couture, everybody. I'm super glad that you guys reminded us about this hike. We just had a delicious Greek meal and we've missed Greek food so much. I think it's some of our favorite food that we've ever had. Of a brand new start came in perfect time and measure. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Welcome back to our little cruise adventure. This is part two of our little series here. If you missed yesterday's episode, we've jumped on the brand new Sky Princess ship and we just arrived at our very first destination, Couture, here in Montenegro. So this is actually our second time here in Couture and the last time we were here, we were saying how amazing this place would be rocking up on a cruise ship because you're kind of surrounded, it almost looks like fjords around you and coming in this morning was so beautiful. We are so excited to explore the town again, but first we're going to go have some breakfast and then we're going to go jump on a tender. Welcome back to Couture, everybody. There's almost like a sense of home when you come and revisit a place. I mean, kind of know where everything is and you want to just go re-explore some of your like favorite spots. So yeah, we're going to go for a walk around. Oh, look at them all coming. There's one thing we remember about Couture is how many cute little kitties there are. Oh my gosh, so many kitties. Hey guys. Oh, it's so cute, Steve. Oh, hi. Hey, buddy. So one thing that we missed last time was that there is this amazing hike taking you from Old Town all the way up to this amazing fortress. So today, that is the plan. So about halfway up, there's this church just here, and it still gives you such nice views if you feel like you can just make it up here. And you can kind of get a view of Old Town, and it's really designed with this triangular shape. And also, you realize just how small it actually is, the Old Town of Couture. But super glad that you guys reminded us about this hike because definitely our visit to Couture isn't complete with coming out here and you just get such a different perspective seeing the bay, seeing the old town, of course we can see all the different ships. So if you're coming to Couture, the number one thing you need to do is rent out a boat. It's around 10 euros per person and head out to Lady on the Rock. It is such a beautiful boat ride and the island there is so pretty. It's definitely one of those, the journey and the destination are worth it because you're going to get the best views of the bay. Alrighty, for some reason I have been given control of the speedboat. <laughs> These things surprisingly go so far. So we stopped off first at a little place called Prast and it is so nice and quiet and cute here. We can actually see Lady on the Rock just out there. I think we're gonna go and find a cheeky ice cream. It's biscuit. Maybe I'll get that. Yeah, can I please get one scoop of that in a cone? What a setting to grab a scoop of gelato. I wouldn't mind trying some actually. It's cold, I wasn't expecting it to be cold. Oh, so thank you, cheers. Thank you so, much. so last time we actually didn't stop off at this little town. So glad we did. Most of it is actually a five-star hotel, but you can still come here, walk through. And there's this little vendor that has set up a pomegranate wine. Don't think I've ever had pomegranate turned into a wine before. It's not too bad. It doesn't have like that bitter wine taste. Kind of like the pomegranate kind of removes that. It's super sweet though. So as you can see, the old town is really well kept and then they've turned some old houses, they've kind of like put them together and that's the hotel just there. Beautiful place to stay because if you have a look just over the bay, that's Lady on the Rock, which is our next stop on the boat. So you get views of this and the bay from the hotel. Or there's like a restaurant or you can just hang out like we did. And if you guys were interested, so there's seven of us on the boat. Worked out to be like 10 euros each and it's kind of like a private boat little speedboat, take us through there, stop off here for half an hour, go stop off at Lady on the Rock, and then takes us back. Of course, like the journey's so beautiful, just driving through the bay, definitely worth doing it. So 
legend has it that when the local fishermen would go out to sea, the wives of the fishermen would place a stone and over the years, the hundreds of years, they would place so many stones and that's why this island is here. So it's kind of a cool little story with amazing views. So kind of hidden away is this place called the Kator Bazaar. Even if you don't want to buy anything, you just want to look. It's so worth it because the marketplaces are super cute, almost look medieval-like. And the Christmas shop's still there. It's still there? Last time we came here, we didn't pick anything up and Jess is like, nope, if we ever come back to Kator, I'm getting one of these little ornaments. We decided to go for this little dude, carved from one piece of wood, and it's all hand carved. Wow, so we just jumped back on the ship and we're leaving it and definitely this is one of those amazing moments when you're just driving through the bay. I'm gonna say it, say it before, say it again, it literally looks like we're in the fjords at the moment. Just the way that it just towers over on either side, comes to the back of the ship and we're just saying goodbye to Qatar. I mean, I didn't expect to be back here so soon, so I don't know. I'm not gonna say goodbye to Qatar, I'll just say until next time because never know when we'll be back in Montenegro. <laughs>
so what they've done is they've actually made certain columns a different height so that when you look at it at any angle it looks straight when technically it's not completely straight so smart for a building that's over 2,000 years old So we've just walked down the Acropolis, gone for a little bit of a walk through the actual town, come up to an area called Plaka. This is where you're going to find some good local Greek food, Greek music. So we've just popped into a restaurant and we can see how close we can actually get to the little musician. Also, how good is Greek food? I'm so excited to be back. Yum. <laughs> A delicious Greek meal and we've missed Greek food so much I think it's some of our favorite food that we've ever had we had a Greek salad you've so been me all along all along always on my side you've never gone you've been with me all along the little suburbs surrounding the Acropolis around the base of it really cute and really traditional looking and you just have the Acropolis just in front of us all along you've been with me when I laugh or cry anywhere I stood you were standing by with me when I'm fine alrighty guys when I hope you enjoyed that little episode if you are new around here make sure you hit subscribe and we'll see you in the very next one bye